Fathers Art Kids, welcome to this week's object lesson. Now for today's lesson, we have a very interesting topic that we're going to cover. Today, we're going to talk about understanding who God is. I mean, we all want to know more about God and who He is, right? Now, to understand God better, we're going to look at the word, the Holy Trinity. Have any of you heard of this word before? Well, maybe you have, or maybe today is your first time. But when looking at the word Trinity alone, it's actually just the words try and unity mushed up together to make one new word. Now, try means three and unity means one. Now, this thing starts now to give us a good idea of what the Holy Trinity is. And if you haven't figured it out as yet, the Holy Trinity speaks about God and how God is three in one. Now, guys, this is because we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now, all three of them are God. And no, not three gods. They all form one God. Now, I know this might sound a little bit confusing, but surely you didn't think understanding God, the creator of everything, was going to be an easy topic to understand. But that's exactly why I have an object lesson for you guys today. So hopefully we can understand this topic and who God is a bit better. Now guys, for today's object lesson, we're going to use water to describe God. Now, why I chose water is because we all know Jesus said in John 4 that He is the living water. And we all agree Jesus is God. So comparing God to water is not so far-fetched. But anyways, so like I said, here and I have some water. Now, God and water have this in common. They both come in three different forms. Now, like we learned from the Holy Trinity, God is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now, do you guys know what the three forms of water are? Guys, the first one is quite obvious as it's right in front of us. And that's liquid. Now, water also comes in solid and gas form. Now, to illustrate to you guys how the Holy Trinity works, I'm going now to need three glasses. One, two, and three. There we go. Now, the first glass over here is going to represent God the Father. Now we're going to compare God the Father to the liquid form of water. Now usually when we see water in its liquid form, we just call it, well, <laughs> water. And in the same way guys, when we refer to God the Father, usually we just say God. Now guys, next we have God the Son. And we all know that's Jesus, right? Now, Jesus was God in the flesh. And that's why for this illustration, we're going to compare God the Son with the solid form of water. And do you guys not know what the solid form of water is called? That's right, guys. It's called ice. Now guys, just because we call it ice and it looks so different from our water over here, does that now mean that ice is in water? <laughs> no, not at all. Ice is still water it's just in a different form now guys in the same way jesus even though he is different from god the father 
and God the Father is different from God the Son, they are both God. But that now actually brings me to the last gloss over here. God the Holy Spirit. We are going to compare God the Holy Spirit to the gas form of water. Now, if you're not sure what the gas form of water is, maybe you know it better as steam or water vapor. You know, when you boil water and the water starts to evaporate. Now, I like to think that the Holy Spirit is like water vapor. As if you think about it, Jesus was flesh. And that's why we compare Jesus to the solid form of water. Now the Holy Spirit isn't like Jesus who had an earthly body. Meaning he is not flesh. But the Holy Spirit is spirit. But <laughs> I think his name already gave that away. Now guys, when looking now at the steam. And we can try and capture it in our glass. But it's going to be a little bit difficult. Now my question to you guys is, does the steam look anything like the ice? No, it doesn't. So does that then mean that steam is not water? No, not at all guys. Even though it now looks different and it's in a different form, it still stays water. Now I really do think that you guys get the picture here. For today's object lesson, I got my water for the three forms that we see all from the same tap. The same water that was now used in our glass over here and the same water was now used to make our ice blocks and the same water was now thrown into the steamer to create the water vapor. And although the three forms look so different from each other guys, they all came from the same tap. Now, in the same way, guys, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit all have different functions. And they are not the same. But all three of them are God. They are three in one. Now, guys, I really hope today's object lesson helped you to better understand who God is and how the Holy Trinity works. Now, this is so important, guys, as this is what sets us apart from other religions. Other religions serve multiple gods, but we only have one true living God. But guys, please don't think God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are each a third of God, and together they make God. They are each fully God, and they are united together. So instead of thinking a third plus a third plus a third equals one, think of it as one plus one plus one equals one. As we are not serving three different gods, but they are also not a piece of God. God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit are united as one. Okay, fine. I know. That's confusing, but that's the beauty of it all. God is God, guys, and we are only human. God exists outside of our way of thinking and understanding. He even exists outside of time. I mean, God is God, so of course he's going to be way more complex than what we can ever humanly understand. But I think this is where faith comes in. If God is three, in one and one plus one plus one equals one i'm going to believe it not because my mind can understand it but because god said so now to help you guys remember our lesson of understanding who god is i have now a fun and exciting craft for you guys let me actually quickly show you guys what it is
what a cute craft guys i hope you guys now have so much fun with today's craft feel free now to share it with us on our facebook page of how your craft turned out now before we go i have a song that i want us now to sing together now this song is all about the holy trinity so quickly get on your feet and enjoy it with me Wow, guys, I know I had so much fun with our lesson of today. And I really hope you guys have a better understanding of who God is. Now, let's quickly now end our lesson off with prayer. Thank you, God, for our lesson of today. Thank you for teaching us more about who you are as the Holy Trinity. Help us to not get confused by this concept, but that we will understand that you are the one true living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are just so amazing, Lord, and we thank you that we have the privilege of being your children and that we have your word to teach us more about who you are. Please lead and guide us in the week to come and help us to shine our lights wherever we go. In Jesus' name we pray this. Amen. So guys, thank you now so much for tuning in today. See you guys next week. Bye everyone.